Hey everybody, I'm going to talk a little bit about watches, compasses, and magnetic fields. Uh, this is just one of my life lessons where I've learned something I didn't know before and probably a lot of you people that uh, have a lot more experience with compasses and watches than I do know this already. Uh, it makes sense now that I kind of know it, but I just didn't get it before. So I thought I'd share the uh, illumination that has come to me in the past several days about compasses, watches, and magnetic fields. So here we go. I bought a Countycom Navigator compass to go with my fabulous little Armatron watch. And you can see this is that little gem right there. And it's a nice little button compass that uh, slides and attaches to the wristband of your watch. And uh, yeah, that's great. Now, the thing I noticed after several days of wearing this was that the needle of the compass seemed to always point in my direction. Whichever way I was facing, it seemed to point to me. Now, I know that I have a magnetic personality, but um, yeah, so <laughs> probably not quite that big, right? So I um, began to thinking about it and thought there was something wrong with the compass and started to, to try and test it with my other compass. This is a Brunton uh, compass. And, you know, come to find out that actually it does pretty good. Um, it uh, seems to um, be able to point generally in the same direction. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a couple of degrees off, but it's a little button compass after all. But generally, it's uh, pretty much on target. So it didn't take me long to figure out that what was happening was it was in the presence of this watch that things would go funky. So I'm going to adjust the uh, camera's perspective here so that I can show you what happens um, with the watches. Hang on a second. Okay, here we go. So we've got a closer up view and I hope you can see what's happened. Let's see if I can get this to where you can see and I can see what's happening. Okay, so here's my little watch. Here comes the little compass. Now watch what happens with the needle. Whoa, look at that. I know, seriously, right? So this watch is emitting such a powerful magnetic field that even when the compass is um, just uh, on the back side of uh, the watch that the magnetic field disrupts the um, ability of the compass to point in the right direction. And you can see that it even happens with the big needle. Isn't that amazing? I, I never knew this. and uh, You know, not all watches do it. Now here's an analog watch. This is my dress watch, my work and Sunday go to meet and watch. Um, so this is uh, a Seiko. And you can see there's no, let me get the other one out of the way, there's no disruption. All right. Now this is not a uh, mechanical watch. I don't have to wind this up. This is a battery powered watch, but it, um, yeah, it doesn't deflect either needles whatsoever. And that's true if I try it on the back side of the case or the side of the case or the top of the case. It just doesn't. Now this is a, a stainless steel case. So I'm guessing uh, the, certainly the plastic case is going to be a little more permeable to the magnetic field than the stainless steel case. Um, and I'm guessing because this is a digital display that there is a uh, larger current flow and a larger thus magnetic field. So, um, okay, so that all makes sense to me, common sense. Now the only thing I don't know is, well two things I don't know. So one is I don't know if I'm going to um, damage the uh, bill of button compass with a continual exposure to a magnetic field. It seems like that's not a good idea. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to wear this button compass on my watch anymore. Um, I will uh, resign it to backup duty to my bug out bag or something like that. Um, and then I also, I don't know if every digital display watch um, has uh, that strong of a magnetic field that it would deflect a magnet, uh, I mean deflect a uh, compass if it was uh, in close proximity. And then the third thing I don't know is, I don't know if that's bad for humans. I don't know if it's bad to wear that strong of a magnetic field on uh, my wrist or not. Um, so I'm curious if anybody uh, that's watching the video, if you have any information about um, whether or not uh, this type of a magnetic field, I know there are people that wear 
magnets on their person for health reasons, and that's supposed to be a good thing, but I think that's a different kind of magnetic field than what's generated by an electric component like a watch, um, I think. But again, I don't really know. So I'm uh, interested in some feedback, so please post your comments um, or your video responses if you have any information or thoughts about that. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe everybody out there, I'm like the only person on the planet that just didn't know that uh, compasses, uh, you know, would be um, negatively impacted by a digital watch. Um, but, you know, I just, I can't, I can't know everything, right? So <laughs> I guess that's one less thing that I don't know, and now I know. Uh, I do kind of wish that, that, that County Com's little um, watch, uh, our little compass here had a, um, I don't know, a little disclaimer on it or something about attaching it to your watch band that uh, you be aware of electromagnetic fields on your watches. I don't know, is that ridiculous of me to think that that would have been nice? Um, or anybody that makes these kind of things. So I know the County Com's not the only one that sells these, but I think it would have been a, a nice thing for me because I'm uneducated about that. So I wish they had educated me, that's all. Okay, that's my video. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Maybe you're getting a good laugh at my expense. Um, that's cool. That brightens your day. I'm, I'm happy to provide a bit of pleasure to you. And I uh, hope you're having a great week. Thanks for watching the video.